Hello, all you wonderful, beautiful, and craptastic people. Craptastic Jack here, and today I'm going to be discussing what I want for the future of Need for Speed. Um, today I'm going to be basically talking about the stuff I want to see in Need for Speed 2017, and some improvements that I feel they could do from Need for Speed 2015, as Need for Speed 2015 is basically the testing ground, like the fresh start for Need for Speed, and Need for Speed 2017 is just going to be even better. So now that they have a basis to work off, and these are some of my suggestions for the people at Ghost in regards to Need for Speed 2017. So yes, without further interruptions, let us begin. So first thing, I'm glad that they are basically going away with the yearly schedule. I'm glad they're bringing a bi-yearly schedule for the Need for Speed games. I feel this is great because it gives them a, developers that give us a lot more time to give us content that we need. <sighs> ah, sorry. And I basically compiled a list of stuff I would like to see in the next Need for Speed. Um, I'm just gonna make it short and sweet a bit in this video, so I'm just gonna get straight into it. First thing is better police AI. Now, let's all face it. Even if you like the game or dislike it, um, the police in the game are a huge issue, um, in the sense that they aren't good at all. Uh, I like how they tried to keep re it realistic with just Crown Vicks and Judge Chargers, but... I, I, I'd, I'd, like to, I'd like to see the police in Need for Speed 2017 be able to actually chase you. I wouldn't mind if they, like, catch up on the police, even if they're in Crown Vicks. It's just, like, skyrocketed. Um, like, because the police, even though it was a main story thread, the outlaw, it, it, the police just weren't able to keep up. And it was a major shame because, it, it, like, the ambience of the police chases is just so great. The sirens and everything. But, the, the, unfortunately, the cops can't keep up. And another thing i like to add is we need a police scanner in this next Need for Speed 2017. I, I missed the police scanner. Like, the cops yelling over the radio and stuff. That was pretty awesome. And I want to see that back in, in Need for Speed 2017. Uh, next issue is better customization. Now, Need for Speed 2015 has probably had the best customization that a Need for Speed game has had in a long time. But unfortunately, a lot, of, like, a f many cars did not have that much customization. And we, I'd like to see a lot more, especially in cars, like, even though we can't really do that Ferrari because that's licensing issues. But even for, like, some JDM cars, cars that have a lot of customization, there still wasn't much for some of them. And I'd like to see a lot more customization in the next game. But now, since we have more stuff to work off of, we should have a lot more Need for Speed 2017. Next thing, now, next thing is remove all drive. Um, all drive is just, it, it, it's, it's what allows, it's why... All drive is basically the reason why you see like different racers driving around the city in races while you're in racing, while you're racing. Like other racers are racing their own races while you're racing, and then they crash, and it just gets really annoying. Remove it. It it, it, it didn't work in Rivals, and it didn't necessarily work here either. Um, and I'd like to see an improved feature. Like I don't like having other people racing on the same stretch of road when I'm in the middle of a race. It just Especially when you have a competitive feature like Aldo Log, which basically is time you, your times, on different tracks. Because it could be really shitty when you're about to beat your friend's time, but then another jackass race, race is taking on, and they just crash into you, and you, you have to restart. It, it's just really bad. Next thing i like to see is better racer AI. Uh, sometimes, especially in the drift events where they were just uh, all over the place. Uh. And another thing... Remove always online connectivity. Always online was the source of almost all the problems that I've had with Need for Speed 2015. Uh, the fact that you couldn't pause, the fact that, like, even after, like, you cross the finish line, there's a split, like, half a second time where the timer's still going. Um, stuff like that, just from the always online stuff. And I, I just don't like it. I mean, it was great to see that the updates could come much faster, but... Like, they said it before it came out that the benefits will outweigh the negatives, but that was definitely not true in, at all. Uh, the negatives definitely outweighed the positives. I mean, it wasn't like, like we were disconnecting every 10 minutes, but when you did disconnect, it was infuriating. And I'd like to see um, just offline. I, I, I'd like the fact... I don't know. We should be able to choose if we want to play offline or online without the need for a connectivity always. And... Um, Next thing is longer support plus paid expansions along with free DLC. Now, what do I mean by paid expansions? Need for Speed's DLC system was entirely free, but unfortunately, at certain some point, something like we're gonna, you're, that the cash flow is just gonna stop. And with Need for Speed 2017, 2015, that cash flow we can tell stopped because we're not getting any more updates because shit costs money. 
And what I'd like to see is like free DLC like the ones that we got, but then go huge with expansions and then make us pay for them. Make us pay the because we're gonna have to pay the bill somehow or else they're gonna start putting in microtransactions and shit if they want to keep the game going which we do not want uh so if we have free dlc but paid expansions that'd be great and that really just sums it up right now just a short little list of stuff i would want in the next need for speed uh that's basically all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what you would like to see in the next uh, Need for Speed game in the comments below. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good one.